and welcome to another episode of Joshua's Kitchen Science. Today we will be making our very own Stain Blaster from horse chestnuts or conkers. They are very common in Britain at this time of year which is about autumn. So today we're going to be using them to make laundry detergent. They also have other uses, um, such as they have anti-inflammatory properties and they can also be used to for uh, aching muscles. But they contain this thing called acin, which is a saponin, and that is mildly poisonous for humans. But in high doses, it can lead to death. So this is the hard protective coating. And, and this is the seed itself. See? It's got a scar on the bottom. So as I said earlier, we're go today we're going to be using them to make washing up our very own stone blaster laundry detergent. And, and so my adult, i.e. my mum, my beloved mum, to uh, chop these up into smaller pieces so that we can blitz them in the blender. surface area per unit volume for better diffusion into the water we're going to seep them in. So mum's just finished very kindly chopping our horse chestnut cotyledons for us and I just wanted to show you something. This is half of one of the horse chestnut seeds. So, um, so on the out, so the whole thing is called a cotyledon, and then on the outside, as you can see, we have the brown shell or the seed coat, and then on the inside, the white, the white stuff is called the endosperm, and then you see that little green shoot there. That's the embryo that will grow into a new plant. So the tip of this shoot is called the epicotyl, the middle is called the hypocotyl and the end and the bottom is called the radical or in this case the bit attached to the brown shell. So I'm just going to blend them, so we're going to blend them for say 30 seconds then we're going to add some water. So. In they go into the blender. Whoops, sorry. Right, so now I've got all the all the horse chestnuts in the blender and I'm, and now I'm going to switch the blender on but keep this closed. Yeah. And now I'm going to add the water because it's quite fine now. So I'm just going to 
yeah. Um, and while while it's seeping in water, I um I am going to intentionally stain this cloth with cucumber soy sauce and some chili and garlic sauce, which I'm sure has some food flavoring, uh, food sorry, food coloring in it that will stain the cloth. So, let's start with the soy sauce. We don't want to put too much on it, so we put our back finger on, our uh, index finger on this, and then watch it. Whoops, never mind. So now, we are going to stain um, the other side, the other side with with uh, chili and garlic sauce. Whoa! Yep, I think that's enough. Enough. Very dirty, right? Yes. And that's exactly what we need for, for this experiment. Goodbye for now. So now we've left it to soak in the conquer liquid for approximately 10 minutes. And so I'm just going to give it a bit of a scrub. So, and get ready for it, the end results. Ta-da! And now for the science bit. This conca liquid is made from the from the seeds of the of the horse chestnut tree. The the scientific name of the horse chestnut tree or the conca tree is Aeschylus hippocastanum. It is a member of the soapberry and lychee family. It is a deciduous tree that originates in the Balkans. And so it has a range of different uses, as I might have told you earlier. So, for example, it has anti inflammatory properties. Um, Another use is, of course, what we've, what we've done here. Um, seeping it in liquid, then, then draining it off and using the liquid as laundry detergent. And also, in the first in the Second World Wars, they, they did an interesting thing with that. They, they, they took 
starch from con from conkers. So, so what happened is they said. So they asked children all over the country. Yes, that includes me and you too. Mac will actually be going to run. And so in the first and second world wars, they they asked for con for uh, children all around the country to donate conkers. And then they turned the starch into a special substance to be used in military armaments. Um, and but it turned um, the the go the government really the process could use any form of starch, but the government didn't want to use food because they because because then the rations would have got even worse. And. So, yeah, and then, but it turned out that they were a poor source, and then they, and then they only, and then, and then, well, they, they stopped using them. But in the Second World War, they did the same. So, maybe they were desperate. Anyway, so, and... When, and so, thank you for watching Joshua's Kitchen Science. Hello again, so now Mum's very kindly chopped up these horse chestnuts. <laughs> <laughs>